Alexis Kovalev holding onto the puck, feeds Mike Komisarek, one times it gets deflected by a Boston stick past Tim Thomas, 1-0 Habs. Second period, check out this little move by Mark Streit, tucks a sweetie pie right into the five hole. 2-0 Canadians fans beginning to breathe a bit easier. Late into the second, Sergei feeding brother Andre Tim Thomas can't decipher the scuffle. 3-0 Habs. The onslaught continued into the third period. Moving on to the Natsat right now, we can see that Quebec is haloed in these huge weather makers. We're keeping a particular eye on this one forming over the Great Lakes region. More on that later. But as you can see right now in southern Quebec and the corridor and in New England, it's pretty clear but cool. That's because of this high pressure system that we have dominating our area over James Bay. However, this is going to be giving way, moving eastward into the Gas Bay region, uh, making way for this warm front and this low pressure system coming down from northern Ontario. It's going to be bringing some rain and even a chance of snow, so not time to turn down the thermostats just yet. Thanks, Todd. We're here at the grand opening of Le Cristal, Montreal's latest jewel in its crown of luxury hotels. Talking with us today is Madame Claudette Dumas Bergen, the head of public relations at Le Cristal. Madame, uh, thanks for being with us. Well, thank you. Very good. Uh, now, I just have a very quick question. What sets Le Cristal apart from other luxury hotels in Montreal? Well, first of all, the, the location. Welcome back to the program. Well, it's springtime, and for many Montrealers, this means dusting off the bike helmets and taking to the streets on the two wheeler. But for some Montrealers, biking is a year round event, and they're not alone. We're talking to Miguel Mukandila now, who's going to tell us all about gang riding in Montreal. Thank you for joining us, Mike. Oh, I'm glad to be here. But comic book fans don't need to wait months and years. Just in time for free comic weekend, Iron Man opens on Friday. But Iron Man won't be alone this summer. Sequels to Batman, The Hulk, and Hellboy will also be joining him, making it a very animated summer for action aficionados. On the CMTS Entertainment Beat, I'm Mike Shuchuk. For many Montrealers, it's the highlight of the season. St. Patrick's Day weekend is one of the biggest events of the year, and this year was no exception. The United Irish Societies of Montreal have been organizing the St. Patrick's Day Parade for over 170 years. Every year it gets bigger and better, and as you can see behind me, there are virtually thousands of people lined up and down St. Catherine to witness this one-of-a-kind spectacle. Love the parade. Every year we love it. It's the best parade going. And he's half Irish, so we wouldn't miss it. Kiss me, I'm Irish! <laughs> Irish or not, the St. Patrick's Day Parade is a source of pride for many Montrealers, not to mention a chance for everyone to sport green and join the celebration. <laughs> As it happens every year, the festivity will continue long into the night and it's something Montrealers are proud of. But none could be prouder than the UIS's parade marshal, John Meany. Look at each side of the street. You don't have to worry Every every nation in the world is here today, and that's everyone's the Irish on St. Patrick's. Day. Irish on St. Patrick's Day. Something Montrealers embrace every year. Mike Shuchuk, CMTS News.